Suppose you had to shoot a corporate video and you had to get some shots for the corporate video of the pool or the lake or, or whatever on um, you needed, you had a low budget, so you need to rent expensive equipment, but you can't. Well, if you have one of the smaller digital cameras, there's a way to get the high budget techniques with a simple low budget device. Now this may look really high production, but you're gonna be surprised how easy it is. All it requires is a $12 aquarium. You wanna tape the edges so you don't cut your fingers, and you just simply put the camera inside the aquarium as easy as that you don't have to submerge it all the way just a few inches under the water will give this effect as a matter of fact motel 6 recently used the same kind of thing to get their recent commercial now you can walk with the camera you don't want to be above your waist generally speaking you can have people go below the key again is experimentation we tried with both wide angle and non wide angle lenses got a variety of different neat looks If you're a videographer on a limited budget but you want to get that high budget look, all you have to do is add action to the background of your scenes. Here's an example without action, and now here's the same scene with action in the background. As you can see, it adds much more realism and depth to the same scene. Here's another example coming up with two people talking with a plain boring background. Has been a while, hasn't it? Now let's take a look at the same scene where we positioned it in a place to add action in the background. The same scene, the same dialogue, but it makes a big difference in the high budget production look. I need to do this totally on my own. I haven't played this in years. Here we use three layers of action. You actually have the action of the water, the action of the cars, and the action of the actors playing a game of Jenga. Action in the background will add a lot to the scenes that you are doing, whether you're doing weddings, receptions, or you're doing a low budget movie. No matter how much you think I need you, I need to do this totally on my own. Part of being an advanced broadcast camera person is owning a reflector. You may not think it's necessary, but it can make all the difference in the world. You can get one that's silver on one side and gold on the other side. We like the gold for that sunset kind of look, and it makes a big difference. Right now I'm going to show you a couple before and after shots using the gold reflector. The reflectors are under $100, and they really help harness the power of the sun by just bouncing back the light into your subject. If you've ever been to a commercial shoot, they use these all the time. Another nice thing about them is they can help simulate a really nice warm sunset. If you don't have the $90 reflector, you can get a white card or piece of paper. This one cost us about $3, and here we used it to fill in Art Poland's interview. If you're in the profession of video seriously and you take it seriously, you really need to have one of these reflectors in your bag of tricks. The next 30 seconds here I'm going to show you behind the scenes footage so you can see some before and after shots of just how effective a reflector can be. It's important to note that no other light source was being used other than the reflector and of course the setting sun. Something that's very important if you're making a video production is sometimes to create conflict. And you can do this whether you're videotaping a wedding event and reception or you're creating your own low or high budget movie. Creating conflict allows the action to continue and a little suspense to continue and keep the viewer motivated. An example of this would be you could have a scene of just a, a bridal party leaving the house going to the wedding or a scene of some people going to the grocery store a big family for a movie that you're doing and that kind of scene just to show people in the car really is not gonna you know add much interest but if you can create some conflict in even the little scenes like that it'll make the movie or video much more entertaining for example 
when they're leaving the house, instead of just getting a shot of them, five people packing the car and leaving the house, you have them running out to the car like they're running late. Uh, getting in the car, they can start driving away and stop and realize maybe they forgot one of their family. And you can create more conflict if it was a little bit more of a rush thing to have them forgetting one of their family, grabbing him in the car, and then uh, knocking over a garbage can or a box on the way out the driveway and not stopping. It adds a little humor, it adds conflict. You can also take that same scene and speed it up for a little humorous effect. So whereas normally you just say, okay, I'm gonna get the car, and people getting in the car and leaving, it'd be much better to have a situation where you're creating some kind of conflict. And if you can do that, not in every scene, but in certainly a lot of your scenes where you can stage them a little, um, it will add for a much better video production, be much more entertaining also.